But I think we can win it, and that's the most mm -hmm. important thing. Well, I feel good about it, We too. feel good. We see tremendous growth. Uh, we started the Health Over Profit for Everyone uh, campaign last November, and, uh, uh, and people are joining. People are getting active. People are becoming citizen uh, lobbyists that are focused on their member mm -hmm. of Congress. We provide people on the website with the contact information for uh, health care staff. Mm -hmm. So people can call directly and get and talk to the staff member uh, about the issue and uh, we, we provide people each week with information for that week that we want to make sure that people in Congress hear about uh, and we have weekly phone calls where people can come on and get more detailed education. Every other week. Every, every yeah. other week. Yeah, every <laughs> yeah. week weekly is already would drive me crazy. <laughs> but, uh, every, every, every other week is enough and, uh, uh, and people, get, people get educated mm -hmm. yeah. you know, in depth. And so we're, we're creating a, mm -hmm. a group of people who are, uh, are mobilized and well-educated mm -hmm. so that when they talk to the member of Congress, but more importantly, talk to people in their community. Mm -hmm. When they hear something like the member of Congress uh, saying Medicare's dying because of it's going broke, we'll have the education to respond to that. Mm -hmm. He yeah. won't get away with that. Right. I mean, he's, he's also uneducated about it. You know, right, Congress right. members have to deal with a lot of issues. Mm -hmm. It's impossible to be well-informed mm -hmm. on everything. It's our job to inform them. Mm -hmm. And so when he says something like that, you know, in fact, the next phone call. Is, it's, oh, it's about the economics. It's about the yeah, economics. We have the, an economist coming, an economist coming on Monday. to talk about that. So we can yeah. deal with those kinds mm -hmm. of questions, explain them to people so they understand. When a Congress member says that, here's the response. Yeah, one of the things we found in 2009 uh, was that a lot of the health staffers, who really are the ones advising the members of Congress, mm -hmm. didn't have a, an understanding of what Medicare for All was or how it worked or why mm -hmm. it was better. And so we did a lot of citizen lobbying, bringing in medical students, nurses, and doctors to sit down and explain health policy to them. And so this time around, we're doing it through these citizen lobbyists, and we provide the tools and information, and we also serve as a resource. So if uh, someone is a citizen lobbyist and their Congress member needs information and they don't have it, they come to us, we provide it. So um, it's a way that we can really shift this political culture, educate our members of Congress, get them to know how to speak about this issue, and that's how we're going to win. Okay. Well, Ace is giving me the two-minute piece <laughs> on, um, since we can't see our monitor, because for some reason our monitor went out. Yeah. Um, do you uh, – closing thoughts. So we have two minutes. Um, I'll just be brief, then Mark can say some. People should go to healthoverprofit.org, mm -hmm. uh, get involved find their own local groups uh, around the country, uh, get involved with the local groups here, and get involved in this issue. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's a winnable issue, it's uh, time is right, the Affordable Care Act is failing, the Republicans can't replace it. Every time they try, they make things worse and can't get even through the House. And, and so it's, it's time for the real solution. This is the moment, and it's been coming for a long time. We have popular support, now we need a popular mobilization. And if we do that, we can win. Right, and it's, um, you know, it's going to be a fight, but mm -hmm. um, one thing I really want people to understand is that Medicare for All was off the table when the Democrats had power, mm -hmm. just like it's off the table when the Republicans have power, and that it's important for us as people to recognize that we're the ones who are going to put it on the table. It's not about who's in power, mm -hmm. it's about what we do. That's and right. so, you know, the Democrats are saying, wait, wait, you know, we have to win first before you can mm -hmm. have this, but <laughs> we did that in 2009, and that mm -hmm. didn't work. So, um, so it's really important that we understand that the time is now to fight for Medicare for all. Okay, well, I want to thank both of you because I know we're really coming up on time here. Um, both of you, please come back. We will. You know, yeah, together, thanks. independently, we can talk about a whole lot of other issues. I will definitely post all this information on the Facebook page. Oh, we apparently live streamed, so that was good. So at least it's up there so people can watch and, and share it. And, and thank you so much for, for coming on. Well, well, we appreciate you. your work, yes, both on health care, so but also on doing local media. Yeah. This is so important. People just do not mm -hmm. trust the media for good reason, so your work is very important. Okay. Well, I want to thank you, and I think we're pretty much done. I'm going to wave <laughs> goodbye because Ace is <laughs> patting down. Okay, there we go. All right, thank you. Great, thank you. Oh, and thank you.